In today's video, we're going to be solving more complicated inequalities. And just as a quick recap, remember that this means less than. The same with a line underneath means less than or equal to. If we reverse the crocodile, then we have greater than. Reversed with a line underneath means greater than or equal to. And it is so important when we're doing inequalities that we know this. So let's look at our first example. We're getting more complicated now compared with my original video on simple inequalities. So 3x minus 8 is less than or equal to 30 plus x. And we really want to solve this like any other equation. So first of all, let's get all the x's on the left hand side. So how do we get rid of that x on the right hand side? Well, simply by taking it away from both sides. So what is 3x minus x? Well, that's 2x. Keep everything else the same. And the x on the right hand side has disappeared. Now we want to get rid of the number on the left hand side. So how do we make minus 8 equal 0? By adding 8 to both sides. So that becomes 2x is less than or equal to 38. And then lastly, to get x by itself, we need to divide by 2. Meaning that our final answer is that x is less than or equal to 19. Taking a second example now, how are we going to make sure that all our x's are on the same side? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move them all over to the right hand side. So how do I get rid of them on the left hand side? By adding 3x. And remember we do that to both sides. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. We need to get rid of that 30 on the right hand side to leave 5x by itself. So what can we do? We take it away. So minus 20 is less than 5x. Notice that I keep lining up all my inequalities because that's really nice practice. It makes your work very neat. To get x by itself, we need to divide by 5. To get minus 4 is less than x. And that is your final answer. Looking at a couple more examples. So 3x minus 1 is greater than 14. Let's get our x by itself. So we need to get rid of that minus 1. Well, how do you make it equal 0? By adding 1 to both sides and then we simply need to divide by 3 in order to make x by itself so x is greater than 5 is your final answer b 3 brackets x plus 2 is greater than x plus 4 so let's simplify first of all by multiplying out that bracket let's move all the x's to the left hand side by taking away x from both sides to get 2x plus 6 is greater than 4. Take away 6 from both sides to get minus 2. Divide by 2 and you get a value which is x is greater than minus 1. Last two examples now. So in our first example C we need to multiply out that, those brackets. So that becomes 6x plus 9 is less than 4x plus 16. Let's take away 4x from both sides to get 2x plus 9 is less than 16. T take away 9 from both sides to get 2x is less than 7. And then lastly, divide by 2. So your final answer is that x has to be less than 3.5. Our last example is x plus 1 over 3 is greater or equal to 4. So we need to get rid of this 3 first of all. How do we stop something being divided by 3? Well, we multiply by 3. We do that to both sides to get x plus 1 is greater or equal to 12. Take away 1 from both sides to get x is greater or equal to 11. Right, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys found it super helpful. I'll be back very soon.